Hi guys, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch. Welcome to this 15 minute bedtime yoga flow where we're going to stretch, we're going to work out any muscles, any tension that we've developed throughout the day and calm our mind ready for a peaceful night sleep. So if you have any props such as blankets, bolsters, pillows, blocks, anything, grab them now, get yourself comfortable, get yourself into pyjamas and I will meet you on the mat in a moment. bedtime flow by coming straight away into our tabletop and this time we're going to untuck the toes taking the knees wide here just beginning some gentle movements becoming aware of how our body feels maybe our lumbar spine is tight from sitting all day at a desk maybe our hamstrings our legs are sore we're spending all day on our feet Taking a little bit of gentle movement here before we work through our cat cow. And we're really going to tune into our spine. So, closing the eyes and working with our breath, we're going to inhale, dropping the chest, arching the back, taking the gaze forwards. And we're going to exhale out the mouth to bring the chin to the chest tucking that tailbone under and curving the spine up to the sky and then moving with the rhythm of your own breath so inhaling to drop the chest and then exhaling to curve the spine aiming for really gentle transitions from cat to cow Our breathing is gentle, it's easy. Taking this just a couple more times. Before you bring your spine back to neutral position, allowing your knees to come a little bit closer. You can tuck the toes here if you want to get a bit more stable. But we're gonna slide our left arm forward and we're gonna take our right arm all the way underneath, maybe coming onto the side of your head or bringing your forehead into the mat, coming to stretch the shoulder. Feeling that beautiful compression on the shoulder here, keeping our hips just above the knees. We're gently sliding the right arm back out and this time we're going to take the left underneath the right once again you can come to the side of the head or onto the forehead whichever your body's craving whichever feels good for you just breathing here Gently bringing the left 
left arm all the way forward, coming briefly into our puppy pose. If you have open shoulders or it feels okay, maybe you move onto the chin for a brief moment before sliding the body all the way down, coming to Sphinx pose. So taking our feet wide, moving on to our forearms. My eyes are closed, maybe you take the gaze forward if it feels okay for your lower back. If not, bring your gaze to the ground. Not allowing the shoulders to come up to our ears, we're creating strength by pushing into our forearms. Not be staying here too long, just opening the back, especially if you've been driving or sitting at a desk. Maybe you bend the left leg, flexing the foot, bringing the left knee in alignment with the hip, coming to half frog pose. If this is too much for you, you can just stay in sphinx. Gently allowing the left leg come back, bending the right, bringing that knee into alignment with the hip, flex the foot. Sliding back the right leg. Slowly we're going to move out of Sphinx by bringing our hands to meet in the middle of our mat and sliding the elbows to the side. Allow the body to come down gently, not to cause any unnecessary strain on that lower spine. And then from here, you're just going to bend the left leg, maybe reaching around and grabbing hold on the foot, and just gently going to bring that foot closer to stretch the hamstring here. If it's too tight or it's causing any sharp sensation, just loosen it a little bit. Just bring it as close as you can, as it feels comfortable for your body. Gently releasing the left leg down. We're going to bend the right leg once again. Maybe grab and hold the foot or the ankle, bringing the hamstring close. Again, bringing your forehead into the mat, you're just going to bend both legs and just take some ankle roll here, circling them in one direction and then moving them, circling them in the other. Before releasing both legs down, and you're gently going to roll all the way on to your back, bringing one knee, bringing another into your chest and just gently rock the body from side to side, counteracting these back bends and sphinx pose in this beautiful hug. And then hugging the left knee close, you're gonna allow the right leg to come all the way flat on the mat, using your right hand to guide the left knee all the way over to the right hand side, coming to a spinal twist. It doesn't matter if your knee doesn't touch the ground, we're going as far as feels comfortable, aiming to keep both shoulders on the mat. Switching your gaze the opposite direction of the knee. Just 
gently bringing the left knee back up. Hug both the knees close once more. Before allowing the left leg to extend flat on the mat and then using your left hand, you're going to guide the right knee over to the side, switching your gaze. Hugging them close, maybe lifting your shoulder, lifting your head, giving yourself a well deserved hug, giving yourself a little bit of self love here for making it through the day, through whatever obstacles you face. And then, if you have blocks or you have pillows, just to grab a couple, bringing your feet together and allowing your knees to come wide, moving to butterfly pose, using the blocks here to support the knees. You can stay here, or you can take the hands all the way overhead, maybe taking hold of one elbow, taking hold of another, opening up the chest and creating a mini back bend. You're just aiming here to make your exhales longer than your inhales. Allowing your full concentration to come to your breath. too much for your shoulders to keep your arms like this, you're more than welcome to bring them back to your sides. The same as with your knees, if it's too much for your hips, and just extend your legs straight on the mat. just like you to repeat after me, out loud or in your minds. I release, I relax, I let go, I release, I relax, I let go. Allowing your mind to become still and silent, your body heavy and tired, staying here for a few minutes. you'd like to stay here, then I invite you to do so. 
hold. If you're ready to come up, perhaps get ready for that. You can bring your feet back into the mat. Releasing your hands down to the side, moving any props just out of the way. Before allowing your body to fall all the way to one side, taking your hands into your head like a little pillow. Taking a moment. Before keeping your eyes closed and your head heavy. You're going to bring the body all the way up to a comfortable seated position, keeping your hands and eyes down in the centre of your chest. Taking a deep inhale through the nose and then sighing out through the mouth. Before blinking your eyes open, coming back into the room. Thank you for joining me on the mat for this bedtime yoga flow and I hope you have a peaceful and relaxing night. I'll see you soon. Namaste.